Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of The 100. This is Season 5, Episode 6, titled Exit Wounds. So last time on The 100 was kind of like the alien type of episode where we had like these things inside people and they had to cut one out of Octavia, I think. Basically, it kind of demonstrated like the leadership between, the contrast of leadership between Octavia and what was her name, Dioza? Because Dioza kind of, um, even when, from the moment she rescued Octavia, when she went down to the bunker and told everyone to get their shit and let's go, people just kind of just stood around and did not like listen to her. They didn't show her that authority, that respect to authority, you know what I mean? Because to them, who is she? She's not a leader. To them, they've been surviving because of um, their leader, the Red Queen, Octavia. One crew is strong. They're strong together. So, I, I and the fact that um, she was able to kind of visually, we, we were able to visually see the lay of the land, you know, in terms of hierarchy, who's in charge, who's who has that, that control and power over the people. It was, it was really neat to see because um, Dioza basically came down here trying to like strong arm everybody just because she has weapons and she has her own type of um, uh, band of terrorists to kind of do her bidding. They're, they're, they were kind of billed as like the most dangerous people in the world or something, right? I believe that's what Murphy and Raven kind of um, stumbled upon when they were looking up like files. They came across... Um, personnel files for these guys and they're like oh these are kind of like the worst of the worst or something like that uh what else is going on here we got a little bit of stuff with abby and her withdrawal and the pills it's okay we'll see what happens with that i mean at least she has someone like kane to be with her i mean that was awfully nice of the bad guys to allow her to bring friends even though i probably wouldn't have done that because who knows what they would probably be doing like you know devising a plan to take out one of us or whatever it's just it, it feels weird especially when you just let them have free reign of the house or not even like shackled or anything because i'm thinking if they're prisoners and doctors for a reason you know what i mean they need doctors for some illness or treatment that some people need that remember this one guy had like a shock collar he seemed very interesting because he, he seemed very mild-mannered, kind of like, you know. But Dioza was like, don't get too close to him and don't let him bite you or some shit. It's like, what? Like, he could literally go off. So something is going on where they need a doctor to kind of reverse whatever's going on with them. And so that, that kind of, like, makes things a little bit more interesting in terms of that story. But for the most part... I kind of want them to kind of like play with these characters a little bit more because they didn't do much with Murphy and Raven when they were kind of up in the, the ship. I mean, they, they were captured off screen for God's sakes. Like we just heard them over the radio. I was like, Oh, we got them. I'm like, what really? We're not going to get Murphy Raven shipping moments at all. That's disappointing. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. There's this guy, I believe his name is what Shaw who's constantly teasing a face turn, you know, if we're using wrestling terms, he's going to turn baby face instead of a bad guy. He's going to turn into a good guy. He's going to turn on Dioza. They're kind of setting it up a little bit. Uh, the fact that he does not want to basically murder anybody in cold blood, like the thing with the missiles. And he lied about Raven having control over everything. So, he and Raven worked out some sort of arrangement. It was, it was a little weird, a little weird, but we'll see what happens with that. I don't want to spend too much time kind of recapping because I just want to kind of hop into this. But for the most part, Dioza bad, Octavia good. We'll see, like, perhaps we're, we're going to kind of get to a moment where those two leaders are going to have, like, a showdown. And we'll see who wins. I'm guessing it's going to be Octavia. I'm actually not guessing. I'm going to be hoping it's going to be Octavia. Um, cause Dioza, she seems very one note. I don't know what she's planning on doing with Kane other than maybe trying to romanticize him or whatever, but who knows? Maybe this is going to be some sort of like friendship to maybe kind of have him lower his guard cause she knows about the pills. So we'll see if she's going to be playing some mind games or whatever, but 
yeah, let's just hop in, have a good time. But before I do, I want to remind you guys, if you guys want to skip the YouTube highlights, hop on over to Patreon. There you'll find the full length, uncut, unedited reactions, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions. So if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon. If you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time. We'll discuss it afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. Maddie's a big fan of the girl under the floor who saved the human race. And what's your story? What's your secret? Synthetic night blood. Like me. Hmm. The lucky clerk found you. Come Fu Lao. What's up, Nyak Yanap? Uh oh, Clark is jelly. Octavia's such a badass. Yep. I wish we didn't have to lie to her. We've talked about this. To lie to everyone to keep you safe. Some of them might try to replace Octavia with you. Really? Hundreds are still refusing to come out of the bunker. Afraid they'll be bombed in the streets. You said they needed to see me, but they can barely look at me. What aren't you telling me? Word has spread about our defeat in the wasteland. Dios's firepower has crippled us. And as you know, the hydro farm can barely produce enough Stop food. Stop it. We have faced worse odds than this. Yeah, at least they're above ground. Look around you. It will happen again unless you take control. Tavia. Oh god, what do you want? Glad to see you. <sighs> Tried to get in to see you, but they wouldn't. What is she doing here? As Geta is a memory, there is only one crew. And there is no place in it for you. Echo is on our side. She proved herself dozens of times on the ring. This isn't the ring. She has 24 hours. This is interesting. Still here by then. She fights in the arena. Be right back. Well, I think Echo can handle herself, right? She was kind of training with Raven, keeping herself kind of Xavier, on her toes. Stop. It was six years ago. You, you just can't cast her out. You go with her. Dio's a ship. Belly, get in the bunker. What? What is this? Care packages? Weapons? Food? Bomb? People of one crew, this is Colonel Dioza offering you a chance for peace. Now you have a choice. Abandon your weapon. Leave one crew behind and join us in Shallow Valley. Anyone waiting for us outside the ruins will be rescued. But come unarmed. I doubt that. What if they just like kill you? We're watching everything. Always. What you say about the farm is true. This won't make her any friends. No, this is theater. She knows we're still watching. What is this? We need a place to house the defectors. You and your politics. Two missiles and this war would be over. And then what? How many of our people are farmers? How many are engineers? How many are expected to die of a mystery virus? Say that again. Stand down, McCreary. Abby is working round the clock to find a cure for you and the others. Is she? I think we're dividing their forces. But he is dividing ours. I thought you wanted to win this war. In war, the greatest victory is one that requires no battle. Sun Tzu. They're already hungry, and now they're watching their leader burn food. We're the only thing that can defeat us. It must be hard being a visionary surrounded by people who can't see. Story of my life. In the arena, Cain openly defied you to stir dissent, and dissent spreads like any virus. We all have people in that valley that need our help. Last time I checked, Dioza can see our every move. That's where Monty comes in. Hmm. All I need is a relay tower on the ground that we build out of scrap and a computer. I should be able to blind the eye from right here. Miller set Monty up. Cooper, shoot anyone who tries to defect. It's not my sister. Clark. I'm sorry, I, I have to go. Maddie. Hey, Clark. According to Maddie, she's encountered our enemy. Is it true that Prime Fire missed the entire valley? Yes, but that's not how I survived. Clark used her bone marrow to make me a nightblood. Could she tell? 
Probably not, right? I just want you not to go easy. Maybe you should fight someone who's not afraid of you. Cooper, give him your sword. I mean, realistically, Bellamy should not be able to win. Not a lot to do in space for six years. Picked up a few things. If Echo leaves, I am going with her. Fair. She is not your enemy. I know what she's done. Mm-hmm. Gina, I know not with her. Who? In the conquest! Me on that damn cliff! We all have things to answer for. You are not dying for me, and neither are they. She's fighting an enemy she can't beat. And now, Dios is using the fact that her people know it to pull them apart. Spy for me. When that ship comes back tonight, people will try to defect. And I can't let that happen. Yeah, that is not what I meant. No, but it's smart. What happens to the people that she turns in? Root out the traitors. Bring me their names and your banishment. Is lifted. I mean, makes sense to me. I said stop moving. If I can get into the access panel. And if they kiss or have sex in this cave. Thing off. There are some gloves in Becca's capsule. Oh, great. And only one of us gets to be electrocuted. Come on, we're going to the rocket. No, 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 slow down, okay? If we go outside and the signal comes back online, they'll find us. Wrong. They'll find you. catches you she'll kill you living with what we've done to survive is worse than death we're not alone others are leaving too will you join us takers oh uh, we got them takers i'm just not turning them in some bad things went on down here at Bellamy. no one will talk about it and i can't do it i must affect with them bellamy you said you can't do it from here but we could do this if we had inside help right Interesting. Looks like we both found new families. So you're happy here? But we survived. Thanks, Octavia. Mm-hmm. You mean Blood Arena? How do you explain the sun to someone who's never seen it? And what about the flame? The time of the commanders is over. Does Gaia still have it? They say you made her into a nap leader. Is that true? Yeah. I can still tell when you're lying. What's going on? What the hell do you think you're doing? Protecting the last true net leader. As my order has always done. How does she know this? Blood Rain has saved my life, but that doesn't mean I can forget my faith. Nyla is not your friend. You're one crew or you're the enemy. That's what she believes. If you want to protect Maddie, this is the only way. Maddie is not a threat to Octavia. She's a child. Yes, a Nightblood child who appeared two days after we rose from the ashes. That's no coincidence, Clark. So Maddie is like some prophesized special kid. And I'm not the one you should be afraid of. Go. Before she sees you. I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm. So do I. Give me till morning to tell Octavia myself. If you tell the truth, she will show mercy. Are you sure about that? But I do hope it. All right, just hold still. Don't give me that look. I'm starting to get the hang of this. I'm surprised that rocket's still <laughs> there. Oh, John! Damn it! You're just doing it to me on purpose. I don't enjoy seeing you suffer, John. Yes, you do. Then why'd you leave me? Because you broke my heart. You were the one who ended things with me, Moya, remember that? After you pushed me away, again, and again, and again. You didn't need me anymore. You was always off with Raven, doing your own thing. You were jealous? Hmm. I definitely don't care about this. How much fuel is left in this thing? Not enough. Why? What are you thinking? Maybe send it to destroy something? I don't know. I'm not turning people in so you can execute them. A spy and a murderer. With a conscience. You're right, Bellamy. She has changed. There's something else. Monty was wrong. So you've both failed? Not exactly. What is that? Inside help. 
Monty says it's easy to use if we can get inside their firewall. Do you want me to let you defect? Either that, or your people starve to death here in Polis when your farm stops producing. Dioza knows who you are. She knows you're my brother. She'll never believe you're a defector. Put on a show. Like, how, like fight in front of her or something. If you're discovered, or you fail to take down the eye, no one is coming to save you. Is that girl gonna die? The jump drive is hidden inside. Clever. Once you're on the inside, get it to Raven. She'll know what to do. Don't get killed, okay? You're the only one who liked my algae. Yeah, actually, this... I was just being polite. See, this would be awesome if um, I actually got to spend some time with them up on the ring. I would have loved to have seen these relationships like develop over a season of them being in space, like growing and learning new things. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna do it one last time? Whatever happens, I know we'll find each other again. Uh... Oh, they are gonna do it one last time. I mean, why not? Octavia walks in. Hey, bro, I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> I was like, is this what sex on the CW looks like? You should have never left that valley. I did that because you were in trouble. Octavia is your friend. She used to be. But six years is a long time. Octavia is not the girl from the stories I told you. I can't risk anything bad happening to you. You're my family. Where will we go? Home, when the transport ship gets back. Clark, if we go back, Dioza will kill you. But sometimes there are no good choices. If anything happens to me, you need to find my mom. Do you understand? I thought you said he was here. He was. At least 20 minutes ago. I'm guessing he's cave hopping. 20 minutes ago? Stay sharp. He's in here somewhere. What? 50 feet. Do they kill them? <clears throat> this doesn't mean we're back together. Murphy. That's McCreary. Kill this motherfucker. I swear to God, if you... It's a trap somehow. We have a hostage. Me. We're leaving too. It's not safe for us here. Clark, you don't understand. Echo's defecting so we can take down the eye. And once it's no, down. Then... You don't understand. Your sister is dangerous, and Maddie's gone. Maddie. Maddie! Where would she go? We have to find her. No. Um that seems like a you problem, Clark. Saying I don't understand? Good luck. Are these guys gonna die? The others are already leaving. Stay with me. We'll be okay. Maddie! Maddie, where are you? Bang, 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 bang. Yep, see? This is getting messy. So, kill her. You're just gonna let her walk out? Shoot her in the back? Or shoot her in the ass? Be like, yo, and drag her into Octavia's? Ah, you know what, whatever. Maddie, what are you doing here? I need to show you something. Mm, are they gonna do something interesting with Maddie? Cause... Maddie? Maddie! Octavia! Get away from her! Clark, it's okay. I came to her. Let her pass. <sighs> Y'all like one crew. Mm. It's okay. She knows everything. I understand why you lied, Clark. <laughs> this little girl, I swear to God. <laughs> 
Your training begins tomorrow. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I like this. Let me see that hand. I know you're mad, but I told her I don't want to be commander. We had a deal. You said you would let them go. I said I'd let Echo go. And I did. And I made it look like a real defection. Oh, that's true. Yo, Octavia is sick. I like this. <laughs> Fuck. Stay with me, Karina. Shut up. Okay, listen. You got any weapons? <sighs> They're gonna let her die. Shiny? Nothing. She needs a doctor. Echo, kick her ass, man. This is some bullshit. We appreciate the risk you've all taken, but until we get to know you better. Yeah, here we go. Too good to be true, naturally. What is this? Just a precaution. Do I get one too? Stop worrying, Kane. I take care of my friends. Right. What? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, guys, so that was the 100 Season 5, Episode 6, titled uh, Exit Wounds. That was a good episode, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this season has been... It's cooking. It's good. It's not great. Um, I feel like it has all the, like, possibility and everything. It has all the tools to be a great season. But there's just something about it that's just, like, not clicking with me like a hundred percent like i feel like i'm watching it and i'm enjoying what i'm seeing for the most part but it feels like we have to have some sort of emotional connection to maddie some sort of uh i don't know feel some some type of way about dioza and her crew because they just feel like generic bad guys to me i mean dioza feels like the most like a character out of everybody but i don't know it just feels like the opposing force doesn't really feel like anything i care about you know they just feel like typical generic bad guys and we didn't really do much else with um with abby or whatever she's, she's she's doing even Dioza was like she's working around the clock and i'm like where <laughs> doing what what's her status what, what exactly is she doing you know um and there's just something about Dioza having kane walk around free because if abby's doing the same thing then is abby considered a friend to Dioza too because here's where I'm coming from. If I have a prisoner who's a doctor, someone valuable, someone who I literally cannot allow to get away, you know, I would have Abby chained, cuffed, collared, whatever, to ensure that she does not escape. She does not try to pull a fast one and her and Kane try to, you know, double team a guard or something. Uh, I'm thinking, if you guys don't know, Breaking Bad, Jesse, and whatever, the uh, Todd's uncles or whatever, when they were, like, cooking, and they had Jesse hostage and had him, like, literally chained and, like, roped <laughs> in that lab. Like, that's what I thought was going to happen. Like, Abby being chained and tethered to, like, a pole or something, whether... So she can just literally just go within the confines of of the of the office or the doctors whatever um but i'm kind of leaning towards you know more positive feelings on maddie just because at first i'm like i don't really know if i care much about her uh especially if she's just gonna be some little girl that Clark has to protect, but now it feels like we at, we're actually doing something with her, and it's it's a little cheesy that Maddie goes to Octavia and Clark 
goes there and interrupts, not interrupts, but arrives just on time to see her doing the blood handshake with Octavia and Octavia doing the whole you are one crew. Like, it was a little cheesy, but the visual was there. It's nice. It makes sense. Um, and now it kind of complicates things with Clark and her kind of outlook and mission and, you know, whatever. So I like that. I like when we start to complicate things with, if they make sense, because Maddie's just a little girl. She's, she can make her own decisions. You know what I mean? Even though she shouldn't, but right now it's, it's interesting because now she, she's putting Clark in a position where she's between a rock and a hard place. Now she's kind of forced into this position and who knows what, what Octavia's plan is with her. She says training starting tomorrow, but what's the end game? Remember the last time they were trying to hype up some little kid as being the next successor, uh, a commander? They cut his fucking head off. So what's going to happen with this, with this little girl, Maddie? Is she going to be protected the entire time? I don't know. Personally, I, I wouldn't want a kid to stick around that long into the show. I mean, that's just me personally, because, you know, kids, for the most part, in shows or movies, I don't really care. Because, for the most part, they're not really good actors, and Maddie's not necessarily a great actor, but she's doing her best, I guess. It's not bad. It's not great either, but, you know, it's just it's probably just the way that she's being directed, you know, just whatever. Um, the Amori and Murphy stuff, I really don't care about, because they're banking on us caring, or on me caring. The audience here, they're banking on us caring for something that we didn't see. We were told that they had a falling out and they broke up and it's been six years. You know, we keep hearing it's been six years. But it, to me, I don't feel it. Like, you can say that all you want. But for me, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> now what? Because I don't have any, I can't hang anything on what they're trying to sell. You know, I don't want it. You know, they're trying to sell me this, and I'm just like, eh, no thanks. Like, I knew we were going to get back to the whole John, Murphy, and Amori. I knew they were going to get back together, even though she said, this doesn't mean we're getting back together. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Anyways. Um, and then, uh, that's probably the only thing I really didn't like about the episode, because it, it just feels like we're supposed to care about that, but I don't, to be honest. So if you're a fan of that storyline, go ahead. Enjoy it all you want, but I don't. Um, the Echo stuff is neat. I like what we're doing with her and Octavia. And I like how just kind of dark and cruel Octavia is now. I hope we don't go down the route where she is literally going to be the bad guy. and We're going to have Octavia versus Bellamy. I'd rather have Octavia versus Dioza, kind of like what I was talking about in the beginning of the, um, of the reaction video here. Because, if anything, I'd want to see, like, leader versus leader. Like, Dioza, she, she can hide behind, her, you know, her, her guns or her muscles all she wants. But in straight-up combat, I guarantee you, Octavia will fucking dice her up into, like, some fine, you know, dice her up into a fucking chop suey or something, you know? Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I doubt Dioza would want that that those problems she doesn't want the smoke octavia she 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 says she's a badass you know and they keep kind of like how, how do i say this they keep kind of um cementing that idea with everything she's doing she's very calculated she's very cold but she's also very smart you know the fact that she kind of justified shooting down the traitors or the defectors because there's no way Dioza would have bought Echo's story of, of Octavia allowing them to leave. It made sense. It's like the perfect, not necessarily perfect, but it's like the, the cherry on top of the plan. Because otherwise, yeah, why, why would Octavia allow these guys to just leave for, um, for, for the Shadow Valley? You know, it makes sense. It just, it adds cr uh, credibility to the, uh, to the plan. And now Echo's on board. She's got the, the backdoor program. So now she's going to be infiltrated. She's infiltrated um, uh, the ship. And we'll see what happens going forward. I'm guessing she's going to use Kane to kind of navigate her way through the ship. And 
possibly going to double team Dioza some way somehow, but we'll see what what happens with that. Um, trying to think what else happened in this episode. McCreary, which is the guy, the the, the trigger happy guy, is now a hostage for Amori and John. So we'll see what happens with that. What else is going on? I'm trying to think. We didn't see Abby. We didn't see Raven. Monty is doing his thing. Uh, Bellamy and Echo had a thing. Bellamy basically told Octavia, if Echo goes, I go. But right now, uh, Echo is kind of like earning her, her stay in one crew by being the, the spy on the other side. I feel like Echo's not long for this show. That kind of sucks to think about because I kind of like grew to kind of like like her. And I feel like if we would have spent season five actually on the ring developing her character even more, I probably she probably would have been up there with like Raven and you know, well, it used to be Murphy, but Raven's probably still my favorite character of the show so far. Raven and Octavia, to be honest. But um yeah, I feel like they could do a lot with Echo, but now I feel like we're we're, we're kind of um painting her in a corner where she's probably gonna have some some moment where she needs to sacrifice for the greater good or something and she's and, and it'll probably hurt Bellamy emotionally um yeah we'll see I don't know I feel like they, there's a lot they can do with uh, with uh, echo and um, hopefully they can capitalize on that because I feel like this show when they have something good when they have the golden goose it feels like they never take care of it feels like they have the golden goose but then they just kill the fucking thing you know what i mean you want you want it to keep producing the golden eggs you want to take care of it you know pamper it you know make sure it has less a long life it has longevity you don't want to just have it pop out a gold one golden egg you want it to keep producing golden eggs so right now i feel like they have like a couple of storylines where i would consider them golden eggs but don't break them you know what i mean take care of it and you know look to keep the good times rolling that's just my me personally that's just how i fe uh, feel about the show sometimes like they have some really good moments but then some of the bad moments could have been saved if they did something a little bit different but that's neither here nor there i'm just kind of just talking you know but good good episode can't wait to see what, what happens next we are like what approaching the second half of the season right now yeah we just this is Next episode, where we've crossed the halfway point, so we'll see how the season kind of takes takes shape and unfolds from there. But yeah, good episode. Can't wait to see what happens next, and uh, I think we'll just end it there. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my review, jump my reaction. If you guys, want to see this episode with me in its entirety? The options available to you right now over on Patreon. Links in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The 100, Season 5, Episode 7. Until then, adios, guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. <laughs>